with their drinks bottles, but they only have 10 seconds on the chasers. And it's Orica Green Edge's Albacini, I think, that's uh, doing most of the chasing right now. Fantastic to see Garmin Sharp in a proper position here, Sean. A trio of them out front. Yes, um, well, they're the ones who have missed out because um, quite a number of the Garmin Sharp team in this uh, leading group of those 60 riders. Uh, and uh, I'm not surprised at all that they've got all this. You have to chase this one, guys, because these six riders, if they get the uh, 20, 30 seconds advantage, well, then it's going to be game over. You have to get uh, working immediately on the front and they're uh, committing a number of riders, the Garmin team. That's what they've got to do if they're going to you know, take control of the situation here. Now, unlike yesterday, this is more or less a straight run in, Sean. Nothing complex about it. No, dead straight run in, so um, you know, no major problems. And uh, with the wind uh, as well, the, it will knock the pace down a bit because it's, 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 it's an unfavourable wind, uh, and that will make it a little bit slower as we come into the final kilometres. Well, they're working hard. That's uh, Ryan Ejidal and, uh, and Christian uh, van der Velde, incidentally. They are working on behalf of David Miller that's in the pack. They want it all to come together, and then David Miller on countback uh, from a quality bunch could well be our leader well that's one thing stage win is another and Chavanel at the moment he's got a bit between his teeth uh, the others know that he is uh, working very hard in that regard and Izagir is uh, very very close behind him and in fact it's just one places and they're starting to cat and mouse and that's not going to play into their hands at all here come the pack round the corner they come with 1800 meters to go and suddenly the pace gets injected and Saxo Tinkov it is in their gold and yellow tip Matteo Tosato that hits the front right now he's being traced though uh, there is another number of them are looking and uh, just drifting to the side of the road goes to Lampreys Mori. I think he's had enough. Oh, and kickoff time off the front. It's now or never for Imitzar. He goes. He's going to try a lone one here, but I don't think he's got the legs. He looks like he's pedalling Ashfelt at the moment. Oh, my goodness. It is a big, big day, and there's only 15, 1,400 metres to go right now. They look over their shoulder, and here come the Chargers. It's anybody's game. Where is Sagan? He's there towards the front, not at the nose right now. Everyone said to today would suit Sagan but we thought with his injuries maybe the uh, climbs might just be too much there he is at the back just behind a couple of the starter riders there's some shoulders going on a lot of busy busy work out front though it's still Imitzar for Radio Chatelet but it goes under the Flam Rouge tries to hide himself around the corner he's got to rely on everybody else just looking at each other and he steps out of the saddle and tries to put some pace in the rest of the escape group are starting to look at each other Chavanel knows it's curtains and behind him here come the charges but there's one man up the road and is he gone will he make it well i don't think so as they come over the crest but the road's running out for them and he finds another wind here you can have it it can have it as he takes the right hand curve and here come the charges and there's sagan loses a little bit of elbow there says get out of my way i'm coming through but it might be all too late this man may well have got the drop on everybody an absolutely superb piece of effort here he's laying it down now this is going to be a huge victory for him if he gets it round the hornings the last few meters 300 to go where's the pack they're absolutely nowhere i think he might just bring this one home the race is on the chase is on can he make it he steps out of the saddle oh they're powering away mosen is there so is sagan they're trying to chase him down he's got to find something surely drive drive on it's your line oh what a win that was he can't believe it we can't believe it amazing here on the Tour de France. What about that? Oh, you've got to love your cycling. And every day is a different one. The 100th Tour de France has done it again. What a joy. Bravery pays, Sean. Yes, um, it certainly does, and uh, you know what a uh, what a dogfight there by the six leaders, and uh, to hold on out there, um, he, he just put in a great a great performance. But is that is it or is it Bacalan? I think it might be Bacalan. <laughs> after all that, uh, in fact, that is not, not our fault, by the way, because graphically uh, we have been led. Oh goodness me, uh, that was absolutely outstanding. Well, we're waiting as a, a, a brief bit of uh, confusion at the line, but my God, what about that? Well, <laughs> you know something, uh, it was Jan Bakelet, so I apologize wholeheartedly, but I have been overjoyed by today. Um, unfortunately, the transponder, I don't know whether they swap bikes, but uh, um, we got a visual right at the very last. 
uh, but the transponders were uh, leading us to believe it was his teammate. So Bekelands takes it ahead of Sagan. 